My name's Cherokee Onis. I'm a Yorta Yorta and Jar Jar Wurrung artist and academic, and I'm here today for the launch of my father's tram, a tram that I helped him paint, well, the original tram, which I helped him paint all the way back in the 90s. And I thought the tram that we had painted all those years ago was gone. I thought it was lost for many, many years. When I heard that Lynn's tram was still alive, still existed, I knew I had to reconnect with it. I didn't know what condition it was in, and walking into these huge sheds with hundreds upon hundreds of old green rattlers ranged up together end to end, navigating through this dark, cavernous labyrinth, I came upon an image that was so emblazoned upon my memory. I came upon a tram, still pristine. I felt that connection again. I felt close to my father again, as I've always done, but I was incredibly grateful to those who have preserved it, who have looked after it all that time, that it does still exist. My name is Jara Carolina Steele. Um, I am Bunurong and Wemba Wemba, and I am the Art Tram Curator for 2022. This year's Art Tram theme is Unapologetically Black, and I chose that theme uh, when I was coming up with ideas of what I wanted uh, the Art Trams to be. And I was thinking around how shame is a is a probably one of the negative parts of our um, culture. We always feel shame about being ourselves or being outwardly um, uh, Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander. And I wanted to have something that would be a celebration of identity, no matter what that was, was it um, however they, the artists would identify as, um, as a black fella. Unapologetically black came up and I'm like, yes, <laughs> that is perfect. The motifs on the tram come very much from a narrative that Lynn established around trying to revive and reconnect with aspects of his identity and incorporate in the stories that had been handed to us by our adopted Murumun Jinung family. We see the two halves, the Dua and the Yirich, the black cockatoo and the white cockatoo. Symbols of everything being held in balance, that everything is one and the other. The way that the recreation of Lynn's tram from 1991 into 2022 on a C-class tram, the process was we came down here with uh, Chiriki Onus, uh, Lynn's son. And while uh, myself and him were yarning about community and art and all the amazing things, and his dad, James, took some really beautiful photos. We just did our best to hopefully honour Lynn's incredible work. I'm just very proud that young people can see his tram and go, oh, that's a possibility, I can do that. I, I'm gonna train and be like Lynn one day and tell my story. The legacy of Lynn I've come to understand means a great deal for a huge number of people. Lynn's legacy of reconciling the different aspects of his identity, his Yorta Yorta identity, along with the narrative of his, his Scottish grandmother and the white side of our family has, not just for me, I now understand, but for so many people, been integral to us creating a place in the world where we can celebrate all the aspects of our identity, celebrate all of the stories of strength and resilience that make us who we are. And I hope for those people seeing this tram back on the tracks now, that some of that story will come through, that we are able to celebrate all parts of ourselves. We are not one or the other, but we do deal in absolutes. And these are our stories. They belong here and they're here for all of us regardless of our cultural background, to recognise, to amplify and to celebrate.